Truly, the Lord has borne our infirmities, and he has carried our sorrows. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Morning, dear parishioners and brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our daily live stream Mass from St. Mary's Cathedral. Today we, we will be celebrating the Mass in time of pandemic. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress. In faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted, Grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Your Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. With God on our side, who can be against us? Since God did not spare his own son, but gave him up to benefit us all, we may be certain after such a gift that he will not refuse anything he can give. Could anyone accuse those that God has chosen? When God acquits, could anyone condemn? Could Christ Jesus? No. He not only died for us, he rose from the dead, and there at God's right hand he stands and pleads for us. Nothing therefore can come between us and the love of Christ. Even if we are troubled or worried, or being persecuted, or lacking food or clothes, or being threatened or even attacked. As scripture promised, for your sake we are being massacred daily and reckoned as sheep for the slaughter. These are the trials through which we triumph by the power of him who loved us. For I am certain of this, neither death nor life, nor angel nor prince, nothing that exists, nothing still to come, not any power or height or depth, nor any created thing can ever become between us and the love of God made visible in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy.
To you have I lifted up my eyes, you who dwell in the heavens, my eyes like the eyes of slaves, on the hands of their Lord. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Like the eyes of a servant on the hands of her mistress, so our eyes are on the Lord our God, till he shows us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed be the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who consoles us in all our afflictions. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. With the coming of evening, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross over to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him, just as he was in the boat. And there were other boats with him. Then it began to blow again, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that it was almost swamped. But he was in the stern, his head on the cushion, asleep. They woke him and said to him, Master, do you not care? We are going down. And he woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Quiet now, be calm. And the wind dropped and all was calm again. Then he said to them, Why are you so frightened? How is it that you have no faith? They were filled with awe and said to one another, Who can this be? Even the wind and the sea obey him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Is Christ asleep in you? Brothers, sisters, has your faith in God gone into sleep mode? Our Gospel writer today, St. Mark, gives us a simple but important detail. Jesus was asleep. The Gospel writers, St. Matthew and St. Luke, also mention this little fact. Jesus slept in the boat. The great St. Augustine interpreted the sleeping Jesus to represent those who have fallen, who have allowed the power of God within them to fall asleep. Christ is asleep because I have neglected my daily prayer life. I have put my relationship with God in last place. Christ is asleep because you have forgotten confession of sins. You have forgotten the Holy Mass. Christ is asleep because you have become busy with earthly desires of the world. We, we have given little time to God. We have given no time to spiritual and heavenly desires. Fellow saints, fellow sinners. Perhaps at times it takes the storms of death, sickness, crisis, pandemic to waken and to strengthen our faith, our hope, our love in God. Perhaps at times it takes the gale force winds of job loss, family troubles, marriage upheavals, our entire world being turned upside and down to waken and to seek out God. Perhaps at times it takes the crashing waves of fright and fear, anxiety and anguish, worry and distress to reawaken the importance and reality of Christ in our lives. 
to reawaken the importance and reality of family and friends, to reawaken the top priorities in life. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as St. Paul reminds us in today's first reading, for I'm certain of this, neither death nor life, no angel, no prince, nothing that exists, nothing still to come, not any power or height or depth, not any created thing, can, can and should ever come between us and the love of God made visible in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Let's pray, Lord God, Lord, be patient, for the Spirit begins to help us to prepare to offer you to the praise and worship in your hand. We come first to pray in our prayer. Blessed you, Lord God, and Lord, be patient, for the Spirit begins to help us to provide the offering to testify the word of in your hands. Become our spiritual friend. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right to give you thanks truly just to give you glory, Father most holy, for you are the one God living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light, yet you, who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so, in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and, gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you with, without ceasing. With them, we, too, confess your name in, in exaltation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You form man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when, and when, through disobedience, he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him in the domain of death. You came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners, freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart, joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave him himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that, bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, make this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the, when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, o Lord, as we now celebrate the memory of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness 
all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that guarded into, the, into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis our Pope, Anthony our Bishop, and the whole all the bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you in a, with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we, be glor may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, performed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says 
the Lord. Let us pray. O God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant us through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have the prayer over the people. O God, protect of all who hope in you. Bless your people. Keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that freed from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May my God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. <laughs>